Hi, this is a really quick tutorial that shows you how you can print variables into a print statement in different ways, okay? Now, the first way you probably learn is by going print, uh, your name is followed by um, the variable name, followed by maybe like something like that. Now, when I print this, what you'll see is that I've got a gap between uh, the variable and the uh, full stop here. Now, you think, oh, okay, I'll just get rid of that space there and and see how it goes um, but you'll see that the output is exactly the same okay uh, by default whenever you uh, create a string and you separate it by commas then um, you uh, end up in this kind of situation another way you could do it is by going plus and then um, the, the string that you want and this time you will get the result that you desire Okay, um, so that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to go um, with special characters. So your name is percentage S, and that first percentage is a percentage S stands for string. So I'm going to put a name there. So now when I run that, you'll see I get exactly the same output. Okay, um, if I wanted to include other features in here, like your uh, name is percentage S and you are percentage I C M tall. So I is for integer because I've got more than one thing now. I have to put these into brackets. So I'm going to do name and I'll, I'll just chuck in title here to make sure it formats correctly and height. Okay. So um, the first one is a string and that's my string. So string and string. Next one is an integer, integer, integer. Okay, um, now let's say I wanted to change that to the IQ element and your IQ is, this time I've got a float. Um, so my float, I'll get rid of this one, my float is going to um, not show me all of the figures. Now, oh, that's a height, whoops, I should change that to IQ. It's not going to show me all the decimals. So you can see this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine decimals. But here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's cut some decimals and it's also rounded up. Now, if I only want it to two decimal places, I just need to do 0.2f. And now it will automatically round up and show me only two decimal places. Okay. Um, so you could use that method. I don't tend to use this method because I find it hard to read. Your name is something, then look over here, oh, what's that something? Oh, it's the name.title, and your IQ is, oh, what's that thing? Oh, it's that variable. And when you have like maybe long strings with quite a few variables in it, it gets kind of tricky to read. So my preferred method is actually to use something like this. Um, you have your speech marks, and then what I'm gonna do is write your name is, and then the variable name here. So your name is Andy, it will say, okay? Um, so the last one, if I go right to the end, it says your name is Andy and it's very easy to follow. OK, it's less faffy than chucking in loads of uh, uh, addition signs, particularly if you were to do something like this, uh, the height. So if we if we take a look at the height uh, value here, um, if I said your height is and then height cm and try and do it with this one I would have to do the string of height plus the full uh, plus the cm full stop okay so I'll get the same output um, but oh and that should say height as well shouldn't it um, but you get the idea I'd have to change it to a string and I just don't think it's that flexible but whereas this I can I don't have to uh, faff around with changing the data types of, uh, of, a, of a variable, I can just put the variable straight in and uh, Python handles the rest. Um, and just to kind of show you how you can do that with a dictionary, um, you know, my last few tutorials have been themed around dictionaries, so it's quite useful. Um, I can do something like um, uh, basket position apples. Notice how I'm using um, quotation marks for my string, but then single quotation or double quotation marks for my string with single quotation marks to identify 
the elements within um, the uh, dictionary. If I didn't do that, it would uh, break the string of my print statement. Um, so uh, then I've got that many apples. Oh, I've got to close the, uh, the uh, curly braces. I've got that many apples, and I'm going to do the same thing for bananas. Basket, single quotation, bananas. Bananas. Okay. So now we run that again. There we go. Five apples and three bananas. Okay. So a really quick tutorial on how you you could print to a uh, print statement, print your variables into a print statement in different ways. And I hope you found that tutorial uh, to that tutorial uh, helpful and it helps you with your programming projects. If you did hit the like button, uh, don't forget to hit the little notification button on the side so you pick up on the new tutorials as they get uh, released. Um, and if you do enjoy the videos, uh, hit that like uh, and comment subscribe button type thing. Anyway, ciao for now.